What's up, Wolverines? I'm Matthew Belvides. And I'm Luis Martinez. Here's your news for today. One person was killed and another injured following a shooting on Miami Beach Friday night. Steve Wilding captured this video from his third story window at the Beacon Hotel. You can hear at least five gunshots and see people start to run. Miami police say violence broke out in the popular South Beach area amid both St. Patrick's Day festivities and spring break celebrations. One person was arrested in connection to the shooting. Police found four guns at the scene. They also said that it was an isolated incident. But after another deadly shooting on Sunday, the city of Miami Beach issued a curfew. It was in place from midnight Monday to 6 a.m. More restrictions are likely coming as more tourists arrive for spring. This as Miami Beach mayor is saying, we do not want spring break. We have the police presence we need, but events are still happening uh, and crimes are still happening. So the only solution at this point is just to stop spring break, which is something I've been trying to do for years. And I, I hope we can find a way to do it because we don't want a spring break in our city. So for us, it's a question of volume. It's a question of young people acting out and a question of guns all mixed together to make an entirely ungovernable situation, which we don't want any part of. Team Cuba's bullpen catcher, Ivan Prieto, defected in Miami yesterday following Cuba's loss to Team USA in the World Baseball Classic. There have been numerous attempts to contact the baseball player or confirm the information with other sources. Although Prieto was not the starting catcher for the Cuban team, the 26-year-old was the team's bullpen catcher. Prieto played with the Alzanes de Granma in the Cuban National Series. He played eight seasons in the Islands Domestic League and posted a career 291 average with a .773 OPS. Cuban exile sources in Miami told EFE that they had received calls from Holguin, the province where he is from advising that Prieto had stayed in the U.S. Hours after Switzerland's larger, largest bank, UBS, agreed to accumulate the ailing credit Suisse in an emergency buyout, the Federal Reserve and other global central banks announced a coordinated effort Say they say will, quote, enhance and provision the liquidity via standing U.S. dollar liquidity swap line arrangements. In layman's terms, they want to keep credit available for households and businesses, but some analysts still have concerns and questions. Goldman Sachs says there's a 35% chance of U.S. entering a recession within the next year due to these banking problems. That's a 10% hike since the start of the crisis. What's up, Wolverines? I'm Jay Camejo, and these are sports for today. The varsity baseball team beat Calvert Hall, who came down from Baltimore, Maryland, 2-0, as senior pitcher Andres Savale pitched another gem, holding him to four hits. The varsity lacrosse team plays Pinecrest Prep tonight at 7 p.m. as they look to bounce back after a tough loss to Tampa Jesuit. With the win here, they can move up the playoff rankings. Our top-ranked volleyball team is playing number three-ranked Cardinal Gibbons tomorrow at 6 p.m. at home, so make sure you guys pack the gym. For this epic rematch. The Heat beat the Pistons 112 to 100 and tomorrow they play the New York Knicks in Miami. Speaking of the Knicks, Julius Randle dropped 57 points which is pretty cool but the Knicks still lost because it's the Knicks. Hey the state of Indiana we own you! The men's team won 85 to 69 with Isaiah Wong having a career game with 27 points and Norchad even though being 6-7 having 17 rebounds but hey don't pick us. The women's team also upset number one Indiana with Destiny Harden putting up a last second layup to win. Both programs are off to the Sweet 16, with this being Coach Larinaga's fourth appearance in the Sweet 16. The World Baseball Classic is almost over. USA is facing Team Japan at championship tonight here in Miami. Japan won after a back and forth ending with, against Mexico, with Japan winning off a double who brought two runners in. That's all your sports Wolverines, now back to the guys at the desk. Well thanks Jake. Remember to follow us on all of our social medias. And from all of us here at WBLN, stay safe and stay golden, Wolverines.